Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? I got a new letter from an informant. Looks like the situation has changed again. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? Esther. Señorito, señorita. How is your Inazuma journey, guys? It tastes. Nasa na si... Di pa rin nag-online to, oh. Sino mag online rito? Tsaka ito Mga unang friends ko Hindi ganda na ko Kulay <laughs> green kasi eh the forest nature what the frack oh teka kailangan ko to kailangan ko to okay doon punta natin kakapuno lang ng resin ko ah oh, yeah let's uh go there take it easy wow that's pa rin yung ano wave rider That. Take it easy. Forest, forest. This is a forest. Oh.
Whoa. What's happening? What are you getting? Oh, this one. The plague. Take it easy. Oh, uh, doctor. Withering. Plague of Allah. The withering. Yeah. Let's get to the statue. What the? Oh, my God. Um. Oh. Lag lag sya. Huh. Good roll. All right. Maybe I'll take one more day off and knock out the rest of the work once I'm feeling up to it. Hello, Mr. Oh my god. I don't wanna kill you. 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 And, oh. Take it easy. Where's the desert? I'm going to Dun 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 Open sesame. Sesame seeds. Okay. Are you the lie you friends? La Yuna. So far away. I know. Key. Wait, how much level to? Twenty ka agad. Hmm. This is so handy, right? Shit, may ganito na... Ay, kung nakakalimutan yung letter in EA lang. And... At that, uh... Shoot off. Oh. Wait a minute. Give me the, uh... Oh. Wow! How do I drain the water though? How do I drain the water? That may meet me. Uh, Get back to that later. Okay. Oh, um, in the water. Oh my god, the colors. Parang Liyue. Eh. Okay, 
to the trail camp. Take it easy. Right. What is that tree? Oh. What? God. What? Interesting. Sorry, Wayne. you are not welcome here. Stand with me. Quietly now. Here comes the catch. Oh, no, no. Yeah, then you know what Okay. Nako, pong sa spiral na bisig transform. Yan yung ilang days na lang naman. At ayun pala eh. Pakaira pa. What are these flowers? Oh, stamina? Wow. Wow. That's, that's juicy stamina right there. Where's the boss? Oh, another withered area. Kaya hindi pa pwede dito at saka dito. Oh no, the, the, uh, hindi ko pa nabasa yung, tir, yung mga T-Rex boys. Uh, ito, nabasa ko na to. Okay. Rin. Kailangan mong tirahin yung core. At bakit meron... Okay, where's the waypoint? Sa ilalim. are everywhere. Quake! Ha! 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 And what's this? Let's meet.
good. Now where is it? Oh, 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 wait, oh. 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 I don't believe that's done. How do I go under? Interesting. Oh, busted. Disappear. Yeah, my cook is no boost, not level, level up yet. nakalaya yung sorcerer siya na hindi ka lang kumakit Okay, let's try this guy oh, Hello, Mr. Sarimanok The King of Fungi Evolved fungus. Let's see by electro attacks and catalyst reactors will have an activation. Uh, activation. Let us hit by power attacks will lose activation progress. It accumulates sufficient activation to enter an activated state. An activated jade will generally unleash, unleash, unleash more fearsome attacks until it becomes exhausted. It's not activated, the jade will room can be put into a burning state by the use of pyro. Which will cause it to become scorched. Then spread spores around to create from Jane attempt to escape the scat status. Ooh. Countermeasure. Quiet. Oh, yeah. These are about to get dicey. I'll settle this. I'll settle this. I'll settle this. Let's burn you. Oh, whoa. We'll have order. Dead with me. Oh my god. My summons. You cheating. Son of a brisket. Strike your pyro. You should have to bait. Okay. Maybe I'm too strong. We'll go back later. Plastic hook beak. Nice, tatlo ko agad. Bali, tatlo na lang yung pwede kong gawin ngayon. Kasi, ginawa ko ng resin yung isa kanina. Nung napuno. So, may dalaw dalawang attempts pa tayo. Okay. Let's go with the quest. Kasi kailangan natin para dito. You know. We need it. That's an event. Asila. Tara kan tropical. Nigina. And 
Mino. Mino. Si Rafi. Tulfo. Alcazarzari. When those people entered the city, something on their heads lit up. What? One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry. That won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. Mm -hmm. It's our beloved greater lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy, a treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are within Sumaru's borders, you may use an Akasha Terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Hormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. Mm -hmm. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. <laughs> it kind of nice. looks like a leaf. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oh, well, since this little word. doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Okay. May the mighty God bless with the voice. Or wisdom. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and bam, you get it. Oh, That's some cyber come in real handy. Uh, exactly. That right is there. the power of the Akasha. And with that, let me officially wow, welcome you both to man. Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let Paimon try. Hmm. <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Hyman doesn't sense anything. Hmm. Does it work? The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question. Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're it's trying like, to uh, remember what, and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it. Ugh, Paimon's brain is exhausted. I'll try asking the heart something else. Maybe I'll do it. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? Uh, think it doesn't have much answer my question. Think lower the lesser lord Kusanai. Uh, could you give me a hint? Huh? Could it be because 
we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. Okay. Hey, who's this guy? You too? Well, glad it's not just Paimon. Think greater Lord Rukadevata. I wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh yeah, Rohawi, oh, huh? It's not far from the city's gate. Let's head over and have a Baruch. look. Hopefully he's at home. Now where's my desert? Give me my desert, huh? huh? Hello, are you Rohawi? Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Tainari? I... please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... Here! This is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see... Ah! Ooh. What a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. So, you two just have some questions for me? Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. I want an Akasha. Hmm. Give me one. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, Paimon was sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Soristana or made a public appearance. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. And why is that? In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Uh, okay. Thanks for your advice. Don't mention it. If you two ever want Smart information about things guy. like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. What? Hey, come on! 
This is a survival skill at the academia. Okay, buddy. Paimon's expectations were pretty low, but this is so low, it's like digging holes in the dirt. Oh. So what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here. Oh, there's still uh, uh, one other person we know. Huh? Like who? Catherine, huh? Oh, you're right! Catherine! The Adventurers Guild has its own intel network! Let's hurry and find her! are for now, but friends are forever. Anything else you'd like to ask about? Sage is the highest rank for an academia researcher. Since the institution's founding, each of the six great sages represent the finest mind and leader of their respective darshan. Mm -hmm. One grand sage is chosen from among the six sages to serve as the head of the academia. The current one is Sage Azar of the Rotawahis Darshan. Azar. Since ancient times, the sages have contributed immensely to Sumeru. The widespread usage of the Akasha is thanks to their hard work. Anything else you'd like to ask about? What is it within the sages? <laughs> I just knew you'd be curious about that. Although the six Darshans conduct research in different disciplines, their sages frequently interact with one another when managing academia affairs. In the Immorta, our leader is Sage Nafis. His temper is legendary. We researchers are terrified of him, and even the Grand Sage gives him some leeway. He hasn't shown his face lately, though. Rumor has it that he's currently involved with some major project. Thankfully, okay. he's been so busy that I was able to publish a paper. Anything else you'd like to ask about? See ya. Take Immorta. a page out of my book and learn to look on the bright side of things. Hey, thank you, Rohawi. That was great talking to you. Oh, okay, where's Catherine? Nice. Not a big. Compared to what's that? Of two teleporters, two tatlo. So far, I'm being a humble guy. In a zoom, right? Okay, Catherine, give me something. Nice. What the hell is this? Lamp. Puspa Cafe. Aha! I have a cafe. House of Dana. And what's this? Sanctuary of Surastana. Surastana. And the forge. Blacksmith, yeah. And Lombard's Tavern. Let's make some pita later. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. We need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurers Guild is always ready to serve you. With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. That easy? I apologize, but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. 
I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. Aramites. Christian, Hermit, or Recluse. Pero bakit parang... Hmm. Kasi di ba parang ano to? Hmm. Pero itong part na to, India. Pero mag yung desert part. Parang Middle East. No? Tulog ko, bidiriktad din lang Emirates. <laughs> But that's just... Pero may Eremite na word talaga. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Pero ang Aramites ay a Christian hermit or recluse. Mm -hmm. A religious recluse. Four of thirty? What a weird name. Four of thirty. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered thirty at their inception. Asfond, an advisor with the Corps of Thirty, That's maintains fine. good relations with the Adventurers Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Corps of Thirty's headquarters. The Citadel of Regzar. Regzar. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. Astra Abyssos. Okay. okay. Let's go to Regzar. Oh, what do you have for sale? Khalid the jeweler. Just take my word for it. Oh, di pa pwede. Halva. Fresh. Let's get a cook here. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. Pati yun sa ot. Oh. The shoes. General goods. What do you have? Zaitun peach, hara fruit, and uh, the usuals. Oh, what's this? Why is it working? Hadisara. Holy no, I'm not going to go.
Ang lakas maka ano yun. Maka act to feel. Act to winning sa Diablo. Oh, how do I get up? Lakas maka Taj Mahal. Lakas maka Dubai. <laughs> well, yun ang ano yun eh. Go up. Nobody likes Tainari? Why? Okay naman siya. Well, di ko pa natatry sa spider of this. So, uh... See about that. Aha! Di ko pa ito kompleto. Again, Spring Crystal. Ah, Spring Crystal. Oh! She dead. Welcome. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. I'm Belize. It's nice to meet you, Asphalt. We'd like to ask you about something. Oh, yeah. Alam nila yung pangalan. Okay. Kasi may... Yeah. Get it. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha. <laughs> It's true that the Aramites' network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? That's it? <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. Oh? Why's that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late, greater Lord Rugadavada. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with greater Lord Rugadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? Aww. After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ha! <laughs> but who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. All right. Well, thanks for the info, Osfond. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> was right about most people's attitudes here. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, if the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord ah. Kusanali? Huh? Who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. 
I'm Dunyar Zod, one Dunyar of Lesser Zod. Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in the hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay, and then what happened? And then, the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. What an amazing story. Yeah, thanks for the story. Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. <laughs> uh, in a way. It seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you Could worship be. Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of well, course. Uh, so did you two know that, uh... uh I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. Oh. <laughs> hey, wait! Uh, what the heck just happened? It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm. Dunyarzad was acting super nervous just now. You think they're looking for her? Lord Kusanali! We can't let them get in the way now! <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them. Then we can catch up with Dunyarzad! Hey, have you two seen a brown haired girl wearing a purple oh top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrists? Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction she went? Quick, after her! Er oh, Eremites! <laughs> that should keep him busy for a while! Let's hurry and find Dunyarzad! Sorry for my... Uh... Tank top. Tank top pa rin ba ang tawag dito? A hangar. Oh boy, hindi ako... Hindi ako nakagawa kahapon. Ubus na yung ano ka. Carry on sa You startled me there. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. 
Uh, really? Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. Uh-oh, looks like there are some coming this way. Huh? More of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! Run. No, wait, I... Uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. They probably wouldn't expect me to hide in a place like that. Alright, let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. kailangan niya maging desert na para bumagay na yung tunog. Right? <sighs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, the order po na ano. Shisha. <laughs> Shisha and uh, tea. Uh, the... Oh. Aizen. Veteran core of 30. Oh. Dahil binigay mo sa akin yan And I'll lock that Yeah, uh I have one of each No, six of each And there na akong level 90 na Harbinger Ginamit ko dati kay Albedo kasi to Nung wala pa yung Ano tawag doon? Ano yung tawag doon sa weapon na yun? Ano tawag doon sa weapon na yun? Where is that? Where is that? Ah, Cinnabar Spindle, yeah. Pero hindi pa fully built ang aking albedo. Oh, hello, cat. Oh my god. Uh, about. Oh. Gata. Hello. Alala ko yung event na ganito, yung bartending event. Okay, let's go. Dude, I'm actually at the tavern. What, what, what are you saying? Huh? <laughs> 
Oh, <gasps> that, that. This tavern. Shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand down, dear. Hello. My lady, who are these two? Daya. They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Wait a sec! Who the heck are you? And why are you shooing us away? I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home <laughs> safe and sound. I'll be hello. My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Hey! Dunyarzad already said she doesn't want to go back! Why are you still pushing her? Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. How Makes much? Sense. Wait, what? How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but... My conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. And knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is gonna hurt ya. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. They still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just changed the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time oh, already. Dia, not Dia. This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father, and I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. And who's that? My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up. And I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. My nerves were up. <sighs> Don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that yeah, I Yeah, I know. Besides, that's Alizar. our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay. Money. Deal. I'm fine, really. 
I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure! After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Bring me... Bring me to the Denzel Archon, please. Oh! Bring me the bulls, hey! Haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. Homayani. Oh <laughs> Don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it. Huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? <laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. Uh, don't need to bring it back. We need to every order. Don't bring it back for our own food. Yeah, we're already super grateful for everything you told us about Lesser Lord Kusanali. How about our coconut charcoal cakes? They're our signature <laughs> snack, <laughs> and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Uh, they look kind of burnt and dry. Bye, my will pass. Be fair, that's the first. Hmm. What do you have against my slime dishes? Dunyarzad, we asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Mm. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <gasps> Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Lead bosses. Really? Of course. I so, know that you're scared of thunder, that you hate taking statue. medicine every morning, and that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Wow, you really do know everything. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? Want? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Then... Uh, can you make my illness go away? Oh... I'm sorry. What? But uh, I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, 
That voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samiel. Deserts and all of Tevat. Give me the desert. Once I finally made it through that battle Give me to the desert. I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tevat. Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world, nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. Subzerus? What's the Subzerus Festival? It's Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rukadavata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the Academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. The Academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rukadavata. But when it comes to the Subzeros Festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadavata's death. So they're reluctant to celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful. It is. It's absolutely terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the sub Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady, does this friend happen to be Nilu, the one who sends flowers to the estate? Yes, that's her. Mm, Is that a I guy? saw her leaving the other oh, day her. with a nervous okay. look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more prepared, so I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. No, that would be too much, even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. But of course! And Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Kusanelli. Are there people gems in there? Jafar. Lambad. Uh, what do you have? Lambad fish roll. Got a Bruce Beans, okay. Give me some of that. Give me all of these. Watch a warmer. Let's cook. Ooh, what's in the second floor? Um, 
back in the day. <laughs> Can I cook, sir? No, I can't. You just can't beat the atmosphere here. Go to Agraba Market, Jokla. Stop my little nang shawarma. Shawarma rice. Shawarma pita. Shawarma everything. Academia. Wait, that's a bazaar. Huh? What a lalim. And that's part of the hobby. Oh. 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 And who's this girl? A high Sorry, I'm late, Milu. Oh. Oh, Dunyarzad. It was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped at home, but you made it in the end. What? Because I'm oh. your movie. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught, right? You could say that. Uh, oh no, But everything Dia. worked out. Years She's pala. on our side now. Mali. Alam mo kasi na sinabi ni Dunyar Zed. Oh, and who are these two? Oh, meet the traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Uh, truthfully, no. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. You're still invited to the Sabzeris Festival. By the way, Dunyarzad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular. Thanks to your generous contribution. Wow, how much? You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough Mora? Uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. Lahat kami merong ano. Ano tawag dun kay Aloy? Yun dito. Ah, ano tawag dun? Ano tawag dun? Focus! Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? That can be focus. Oh. You're holding... You have a Chris. Not a Chris. Kumari. <laughs> wow! This place is amazing! Not bad. <laughs> Last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. We reported it to the Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. We didn't want anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. Hmm, where did it come to handle? Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Thank the Dendra Archon for Dunyarzad. But the more she gave us, 
We hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much-needed makeover. Pretty nice. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. Mew, what are you going to be doing at the festival? She'll be dancing the dance of Subzeros, the most important Sub performance at the Subzeros mm. festival. Junior Zod, have you told him the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay, then I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. According to legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. Mm -hmm. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Rukadevata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the Greater Lord started singing, so the Goddess of Flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the grass, Countless beautiful Padisaras began to bloom wherever she stepped. Padisaras. Those brilliant oh, purple oh, flowers oh. became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. Uh, so they are great and sound somewhat bittersweet. Huh? Really? Oh, you probably mean because all the gods in this story are no longer alive. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the goddess of flowers looked. Really we're just tiny people compared to the divine. Um, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Uh, Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able Indian. to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. Uh, I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> the Eastern... They symbolize the Goddess of Flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the Goddess of Flowers. Mm -hmm. She ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that, uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body saras on the stage. <sighs> so, Traveler and Paimon, what do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus Festival? Will you two be coming? All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. Oh, uh, will she be Ooh, there? Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! Sure is I'll take the fun. Sure is not because you want to watch a neat. Hey, come on! There's nothing wrong with enjoying a festival. Besides, it's Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. She'll be happy to have more people who are celebrating it. And food. <laughs> so how about we all attend the Subzerus Festival together? The plan. Junior Zod, let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler and Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to explore the area. Everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves Lesser Lord Kusanali, and we're all looking forward to the Subzerus Festival. In that case, we'll take a look around. Okay. Walk around the Grand Bazaar. Um, oh. Ooh, what are you doing, ma'am? You're dancing. That's new. Umulit na ba? Oh god.
beautiful. Uh hmm. Sahar, Aher, and who else? Who are you? Solidify. Okay. I'm gonna see far hard. Oh, what's this? Actress Nito. Okay. Far hard. Things are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. We're expecting people from all over to come by this year and buy things during the festivities. Don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru City has the best of everything. Some festival snacks are only offered here in the Grand Bazaar. And when it comes to musicians, dancers, or singers, the Grand Bazaar's got the best of the best. Sure, those folks at the Academia might not like it, but what's a festival without song and dance? Uh, sneaker con. Festival way sneaker con. I'm going to make a sneaker con. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. Okay, Hey, Kumare! Swoof. What? Arf. Very nice. Well. Whoa! What's with your yellow hair? And why do your clothes look so funny? Are you an outlander? Did you know that the Sabzerus Festival is about to happen? There'll be loads of fun things to do at the festival. But the best part is when Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, passes out candy to everyone. Keep it my Dilanya. Hey. Shrimp. Hello, ma'am. Uh, how are you? Ah, dancing at the Subzeru's festival. You know, I also danced when I was younger. I As a child, you. I even asked my grandmother why we performed the dance for the Lesser Lord when it was originally done to honor the Greater Lord. My grandmother said that Greater Lord Rukadavata is a beloved deity and honored by all. And Lesser Lord Kusanali is too. If the Goddess of Flowers ever knew Lesser Lord Kusanali, then she would certainly have wished to be her friend and hold celebrations for her, too. The Subzerus Festival has been losing its appeal over the years. Hmm. That is, until a wealthy benefactor stepped in this year and brought the festival back to life. I heard she forked out a lot of Mora to make it all happen. Wow. Okay, next. Oh, where is it at? Oh, the stage. Yeah. <coughs> Sheik Zubair. Zubair. In Sheik work Zubair. as on the stage, one must act with gumption. Meron ba tayo ano language na ah uh, What the hell and Milu, your outfit looks amazing. There's also something different about you from when we first met up. <laughs> I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the festival. See? Wow, did you sew all that yourself? Uh-huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because we make all our own costumes. 
Did you know that Mr. Zubair not only can make costumes, but props too? Na kaya mo cosplay na to sa ESGS. I noticed that you can't keep your eyes off that crown over there. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> May I? Of course. The legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful oh. horns on her head. So this crown was made to reflect that. <sighs> Hello, Aldi. How are you? Junior Zod, you look absolutely stunning with it on. It's like I'm looking at the goddess of flowers herself. Is that a hat? Oh no, yung sa... Oh, palawit. Some kind of palawit. What are you wearing? Is there no future for me? Is that a pot? Oh no. No, no, no. Hello, pot. And you? Huh. Revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy, that's for sure. I bet this year's festival will be one to remember. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> Two things that the Academia doesn't particularly approve of. Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances are longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin and... Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. Oh. Coming a girl. Hey! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? It looks like Catherine. Wow. <laughs> the robot. Huh. Come to think of it, Paimon's only ever seen her behind the counter at the Adventurers Guild. This is the first time we've ever seen her taking a break. Hey, Catherine. That was a cheerfully done, dear Oh, friend. hey. It's the Traveler and Paimon. Or what's shaken? Whoa. What's shaking? Great Catherine sure sounds <laughs> a lot less formal than usual. What's shaking? I'm still waiting for her to say Ad Astra Abyssosk. What's shaking? Sure. <laughs> Standing behind the counter at the Adventurer's Guild doesn't require any complicated functions. But saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. What like shaking, watching the same Fontaine said. movie day after day. But take you two, for example. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Well, we enjoy traveling across to Vat and all that, but we're mainly looking for clues about his sister. Yes, and you should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Instead, they're found along the way. Huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? Uh, anyways, what brings you out here, Catherine? Uh, are you also for a sub Zero's festival? No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Oh, it looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. What? Get no happiness? All right, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. Oh, Excuse by me. the way. Thanks for connecting us with the Aramites. We've already made some great friends in Sumeru City thanks to you. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro after all. <laughs> See you around. Hmm. hmm. There's something really different about Catherine today. Hey, hey Traveler. Tonight. Paimon. Oh, hey, dear. What's going on? I've got something to tell you. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Well, I have an idea that might help. Are you serious? We'd love that! It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. 
I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. What about Dunyar's uh, My lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Nilu's found a place for her to rest. After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Sounds like a plan! Let's head over to the Citadel of Regzar and wait for Dia! What's so great about Dude, this is long! So she said. Oh wait, I can. Putting up a little quick start. Huh? Hmm. Should I? No. Let's do the quest. Look at that. Huh. I am your master. Quake! Rise! Crumb! <laughs> That's great. Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzad? It's called being a professional. I'm a bodyguard, Wait. and I work for whoever's paying. Aww. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Ugh, listen, you two. I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit-chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Let's meet the Lord! Let's meet some Archons! Come on! Oh, hey, Chief! Chief! Ha, <laughs> Dia! What are you doing here? And well, well. Didn't expect to see you three together. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Mm-hmm. We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozfan for more info. No kidding. Hmm. Huh. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? Ruksha's gone over to the Academia. The Oops. Grand Sage recently ordered Sumeru City to begin bolstering its defenses, so people from all over have been called back to the city. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Just recently, the Academia lost something, and there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me, the case is more about the Academia than anything else. Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. 
word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. The Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back, meaning the population's also a mixed bag. You never know who you'll meet there. Apparently what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you, though. If you're interested, maybe you can head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> If you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. Port Ormos. Count me Strait out. Of I've got Ormos. plenty of work to do here for the Homayani family. And take it from me, if you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, okay. you best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Eremites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like, Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King. Word is that more and more are joining their movement. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Scarlet now King. they start spreading rumors of his return. Ridiculous. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Ormos and see what we can find next. Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. Oh, hindi ko napas. Strait of Hormuz. Hormuz, sorry. Hormuz. Dito Port Ormos. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who oh. share the memory? Oh, we can go now? Complete an appreciated carving to invite Kole. Oh! Take a break from questing and let's fight the chicken. And let's have some of these. Wait. Oh, it's an attack. Ito. Aha! Deep old memories. Hmm. Very good. Ah, oh, I miss traveling.
Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. And those that come across Lior tend to stay a while. So it is where many things come to settle. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a few references. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth, and those that come across Lior tend to stay a while, so it is where many things come to settle. You're not three three now. Port of Armos. Armos. Oh. So far. Why not finish it? What do you mean? What are you? Busted. Um, hello. Out of my way. It's supposed to be Dendro. Not today. I have literally. I, I will be literally one smack from being annihilated. I mean, Kolei. Parang yung sa Valheim. Yung mga locks. Yun. Pala. Uh, no. God dang it, man. Hmm. 
What? What? Oh my god. Where are the crocs? This Nile River? Oh god, new kinds of fish. Oh. Did I look the fishing? Pwede ko fishing ko nung kinuha ko yung dakatch. Yun na yun. Have some weapons with Kolei. Nakita ko sa test run, naka ano siya. Element, ah, uh, stingless. So... Oh god, I don't know. Ano. Be very stingy here. Oh my the green dapat na libro. It's just quest. <laughs> what is this? Damage bonus. 
so filters na natin. Uh, oh, hoo -hoo, we have. Kaya din siguro free si Colay. Says traveler lang ang better na character. Hello, what are you? Bagging. Give me that statue of seven. Oh, oh, mayro win. Sentinel. Ah, ru ah, uh, ruin grader. Sorry. Oh. And a bird. Bird. Be up. Push. Where the hell is the bird? Unlock the beast. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. A port city. Port city? Oh, no, port lang. Okay. Can we glide? Can we glide? Oh my god! Oh my god! Ruin card by Ann? Giga Chad na Ruin Guard? Look at that. It's one Giga Chad Ruin Guard. Look uh. at Wow. Can I support? Port of Ormos. Can you see it? Oh! Lapit na lang pala eh. Kitang kita naman. Daming chest na hindi pa natin kinukuha. Points. Oh, not now. Then Droculus. Take it easy. Oh. Yupa. Kasi hindi ko ginagamit to yun. Fine, let's get it.
Take it easy. Oh. Oh. Come in. Wait, I'll put out a Ah. Where are you? Uh, forgot yeah. Wow That's a lalim ng tree uh, Where's the lift? Easy. Have a thing lift, Jan. This port. Nice. Nice. What? Kaya ko tapat yata ito maani. Nakita ko kung may daanan dito. Oh, mo meron. Ayun, meron. Now that's a port. Daming boat. Things end up like this. All thanks to your artistic license. That's how. Oh, I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. But when I finished the prototype Aranara yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. That's why we tried bringing it out for what a test run you? today. Well, I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Oh, uh, what should we do? Mamdo. There we go. This one, this is the best. Then, excited. Whoa. Yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh, hey there. Paimon's name is Paimon, and he's a traveler who is just passing by. Is there something bothering you? Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Toys. Uh, at least for now. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? Prototype Aranara? Uh, uh. you mean this wood curving here? Sounds like, like the a mushroom monster weapon. to Paimon. Ito yung creature na nagpahay. Uh, oh, there we have it. The verdict is in. Uh, what a headache. Not the first negative feedback we've had. So, what exactly is a prototype Aranara? So for context, Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. 
This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. But when we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. They thought it looked like a mushroom too, huh? No. Worse than that, actually. I can't quite describe it, though. And I'm also not very good with kids. Maybe you could ask them for yourselves. Ooh, the kids. This is not an Aranara. <laughs> no way! I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the Ill Little Fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Mm. It's a stone! Toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Uncle Tonder said in Aranara's vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This carving makes me feel lost and confused inside. I don't think the creator put his heart into it at all. It's nothing like an r, &R. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Kasid and Alia didn't like this carving, but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. Yeah, so I would totally ask my dad to get it for me, if it wasn't meant to be a Nara Nara. Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the worse. We asked the children for their opinions. Oh, how did it go? Uh, has it maybe, uh, grown on them at all? Oh, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tanja Ooh, back nice from Gondorvaville yet? Oh, Tanger. the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tanja too. Who is he exactly? Uncle Tanja is a famous children's author here in Port Ormos. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them were popular among children. Uh, just like our prototype, Haranara. But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a Eureka moment or Eureka. something. And suddenly, the children loved every one of his stories. That's right. My little Gafari loves his stories, too. The whole reason we decided to make these carvings was because we saw just how popular the Aranara are among children. We asked Tanja for guidance, but right after he agreed, he went off to Gondarvaville with his son to look for inspiration. They haven't returned yet. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imaginations. As you can see, this was a result. <sighs> Oh, we have to do something. Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tanger in Gundarvaville, hmm? Uh, he doesn't have to oh come God. in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and bring his notes back to us, uh, if you could. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces. Uh, and, of course, you'll be well compensated for doing us the favor. They seem pretty desperate. Hmm. Let's help them out. To see the kids smile. And also for our reward. Of course it's for the reward. Yep, let's do it! Ah, yes. Uh, every new toy we've ever oh, launched at the car craft has always day. had kids from all over Port Ormos flocking here to buy it. Uh, we thought our Aranara carvings would be a big hit, too. Uh, who would have thought?
Tanjo takes his son with him everywhere he goes. The two of them are very close. Maybe that's why he was able to come up with such great stories. Anyway, we're counting on you. Please find Tanja for us. Ugh, every new toy we've ever launched at Akara Crafts has always had kids from all over Port Ormos fl- Ugh, we thought our- Would you look at that? Five of gems, di pa tayo nag dailies As you can see. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Kala po punta tayo sa Gandarville. Sige. Gandarvaville. Gandarville. Oh. <gasps> Spin crystal. Good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, Rama. made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making Believe this up. Me. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict. But does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that? Related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm. Asla told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in poor Ormos. Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Practice is full of possibilities. How to my commissions? 
I enjoy making jewelry for newlyweds the most. Jewelry? <laughs> Alham. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? Uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumero City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos. So students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the academia. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the academia. Look at those! Yeah, look at them drip! I mean, them drips. They're drips. Well, didn't sound right. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. Hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. Nothing but smooth talk all day. <sighs> it's no good. You mark her by I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Achmar. Today, Ein El Achmar. I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually I, I, pretty Ahmad. wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein al Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Wait, wait did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Well, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? Very sus indeed. Whatever is related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? Jafar Tavern. Let's try talking to one of the Aramites. Uh, Wait! Javar didn't Tavern. you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million Mora! Have you lost your mind? I won't let them off easy if it turns out to be a scam. Oh, alright. Paimon never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of Mora. 
But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. Poor ya. Are you poor? Sir, are you poor? Jafar Tavern, okay. Go to the tavern. Oh. Oh, wait. Lower? Oh. Below. Uh, here? What are you? Food shop owner. Okay. This is the place we heard those students talking about. Nice place. Let's find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Uh, Berhuz. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Ha! <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. Of I, I, the day will I, come I, when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Vigilava must not be spared. Huh. Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Wait. What's going on? Let's see. Tariq and Tumart. What's going on here? Huh? Who are you? What do you want? I'm a traveler. A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? I'm looking for info about a certain something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Uh, hand him 50 more. Huh? What is this, some kind of joke? Oh! <laughs> Sorry! He must have grabbed the wrong mount! Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm not gonna add you 500k! Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, that's right! We heard you mention the Scarlet King just now. We're actually interested to know more because... Uh... Because... We're... Uh... Let me guess. Extra charge. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. So... You mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization, and our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. 
Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions, and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there, oh no. The Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> Mm, Charges are starting to tell us more about the, the Oracle. I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Huh? Oh, my money! <sighs> you again? <laughs> Deranged academia lunatic! Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. Hey! Shut it all, Haytham! You what are you playing at, trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? 500,050. I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you. Don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the Academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal mm. exchange to a physical one, I accept. An After all, even the Archons used boy. war to negotiate the ownership of Tavat. I mean, if, a dendro on the and other hand, boy. we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, Pharos sharp. Lighthouse. Don't expect us to hold back. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 mora to them. Yep, give me my money. <laughs> Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah. <sighs> Mr. Ayman, there appears them. to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh... well... <laughs> someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Our Mora back, but some of the Amorites running too! Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions! He went your way! After him! Please, just... leave. 
Forget the cost of the meal. Just, uh, pretend nothing happened today. Please, just... Please, just... One long quest. Where are you, Edgy Boy? Them. What do you want? No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. Oh, not edgy anymore. All right. Goodbye. Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you what? must know the real story about a... Mm. <clears throat> certain mm. something, no? Who okay. exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? A student. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Hmm... Huh? Oh, yeah! He's really strong! Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. He doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I'll... Oh, um, oh. From guys like that. Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring oh, okay. a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> All right. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. We'll reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. Um, so, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 Mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look. If you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. We know it's connected to the Academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. Hmm, what else? You know almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. Huh? My mind can't tell what it is. It looks like uh, some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. Oh. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. It's like a miniature Akasha. Anyone who miniature links it to their Akasha. personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules confer their contents without any requisites. That's amazing! Amazing. It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha, and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the Academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. 
Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. Well, I think that about sums it up. Ah, so that's your true objective. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Okay, uh... Let's, uh... Oh my god! Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? Go to Gandaraville and find Tanja. Oh wait! So yung quest kanina ay yun na yun? Oh! Pakala ko ano pa rin, kadugtong pa rin nung ano. Nung Archon quest. Okay. Looking for inspiration, but how That's do we find so him? Convenient. Should we yell his name at the top of our lungs? Hey, buddy, what's your name? Oh. What are you doing here all alone? Do you live in Gondarville? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee forest ranger, well, I'll do everything I can to help you. <sighs> oh, Razi. I'm forest ranger. Oh. I'm Razi. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gondarvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. What? That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. What the hell is happening? <laughs> hey, don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh. That voice sounds familiar. I once heard it somewhere before. Oh, it's Kale! Kale, and but... Uh, a child who seems to be yung... upset. Oh, Kale, oh no, Kale. Let's go say hi. Kale, flower. Oh, there they are. Hi, Kale. Been. Huh. I'm on a traveler. Huh. I've been doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm helping Master Tainari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. You seem kind of busy, though. <laughs> um, I'll be fine. Y you go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. Uh, the sand got into my eyes, that's all. What a well-mannered child. Sand? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That 
that's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree, tree hollow? hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R &R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Maybe there really are R&R &R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R &R stories too? Of course. I love them. Oh, people who like R&R &R are the best. <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, oh, I'm how are you doing? Feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow, Kali's so good with kids. <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of our forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? Hmm. Hmm? Okay, so you're looking for a children's author from Port Omos called Tanja. Tanja. And he's here in Gandarverville. I'm looking for inspiration. Uh, wait. When you say Tanja, do you mean the Tanja? That's right, Uncle Tanja. So he's in the area? Looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak? This is amazing. Uh, can you wait for me for a second? Oh, she got I'll run Rassi back thing. to Gandarverville and then I'll be right back. I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. <laughs> Tanja's just a normal guy. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> Wait, hold on. Rossi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. <gasps> Ooh, your dad? How handy. Tanja's your dad! As in your Tanja's son? Uh-huh. Ah! Paimon sees! That guy at Akara Crass told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Razi! Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... <laughs> we had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh. Oh, in that case, we should take you back to Gandarverville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Well, you know Yay! where he is. Thanks, Razi. I meant that we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the Tanja! Oh... Yeah. <laughs> he's... He's just sick and tired of... People looking for Tanja. Wow! That was fast! Instantly! Instantaneous! Now we have C1. So Tanja headed one. this way. Oh, I know this place pretty well. <laughs> Deepwood Patrol. When the party is not on field, Kale's energy charge is increased by 20%. That's pretty pog champ. I mean, we'll see. Oh. Uh, 
Opponent 30 40% contest. A thousand dead damage to opponents for two seconds. Uh, I'm not gonna do this. Sakana. Wow. Take it easy. Hello, graveyard. What? There's this in the wild. Some of these in my first races may be found in forests of Sumer. All grounds are to fall over this. There's this and traverse each field without interruption or repetition. And perhaps something good will happen. This is good. Seven fields, but your footsteps seem to be able to awaken the life of this plot of land. <laughs> Oh, what's wrong? Kala ko naman susundan ko talaga na literal yung kumiki ng oh 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 amazing vasmerti what's a vasmerti so the earth quest item Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Hup. Oh, waiting. The bank again. Oh, no. Look at the ingredient. Rosie! Where are you, Rosie? Someone's calling for Rosie over there. Wait, sir. Oh, Rossi! Thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you in danger? Did the wild beasts scare you? Did the stars guide your way? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, all well, thanks to their help. This is Miguel. Thank you. Thank you all. I dare say that even the most cold-hearted spino crocodile would be moved to tears by your well. kindness. Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I, uh, I love them too. Really? I'm girling. I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. Nope. Hmm. Kind of creepy. Okay then. I or... have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? It's... Uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. Whoa. Kale looks like she's about to pass out. Uh, hey Kale, are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay. Sorry. I, I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? 
Yes, yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an Aura Giant and an Aura Finch traveling together popped into my mind. Oh. Ah! Excellent! Improvisation! Yes, mount your trusty steed of imagination and canter up. through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. You have the potential to become a celebrated storyteller, too, you know. Um, seems like Kanja has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Paimon's not a finch! That's nothing to get excited about! Akara Crafts. Akara Crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Um, what? Paimon has no idea what he's saying. What should we do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Nice. Oh, that's what he meant! Well, there it is! All the proof you needed that this kid is definitely Tanjir's son. Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanjir, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something! But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Padisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjir, have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest, conclusively proving that Aranara not only exists in stories, but in real life, too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time! Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia. Then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanja living in humble Port Ormos! Okay. Uh... <sighs> um... I haven't written any papers myself. But I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the Academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r and &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanja never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me! Wait, not that way. Kale? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. But that way leads us deeper into the Avidia Forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. Over there. It's a Gandharva view. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. <laughs> but this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Paimon's not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Um, Paimon's not sure what look with your heart means? But anyway, let's start by investigating the area around this tree hollow. Okay. Razi? Dad never used to be like this. It's all my fault. Oh wait, is high? Are you high? 
You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This line is at the beginning and also the end of Aranara's vow. I'm certain that in a hundred years' time, this line will become a famous proverb in Sumeru. Don't you think? I don't know about that. Uh... Okay, you guys go ahead. I'm just a little tired. Holly flower. Oh. Hey, look! There's a note here. Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh, the handwriting's so hard to read. It's too hard. I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Um, do I and I need to learn about mushroom classification? Here's another note that says, This tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R&R &R from the stories would say. There's another one here! Hmm. If only I were a clever Aranara. A clever Aranara. Is the emphasis on clever or Aranara? Talk to Tanjar. Tanja. Sounds like... Take it easy. How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? The crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lowly tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is in fact the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it the Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway... It has nothing to do with me, so... Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Oh. <laughs> Overwhelming. Oh, yes. Yes, overwhelming. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja. In r and in the Three Little Fungus, it says that r and are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that in the story? Ah, 
<laughs> yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. This is next day. Are you kidding me? Dito ko na galing next day na yun. Hmm. Oops, sorry. Go to the encampment. Oh. <laughs> traveler, hey, traveler, wake up! Wala ko dun mismo. Ito nabasa masyado. So. It's not the Aranara. It's Kale. She's gone! Oh, Palaiman's been worried about Kale since last night. Even though she kept telling us she was okay after we saw the evidence of Arnora activity, she's been acting kind of strange. Anyway, let's go find her. Hey, look! Aren't these Kale's footprints? But why are they headed towards the tree hollow? I can't see the footprints. So Kali came back here alone. Is she waiting for the R and R to show up? And I thought this was a place nobody knew about. I never thought Tanja would find it, or that oh. I would run into the traveler and Paimon. <laughs> if I'd known. I would have just told the tree hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to practice oh. my handwriting. <laughs> now I've created a whole new problem for myself. Mm, what do I do now? Dress up as an Haranara? Oh. oh no, 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 that won't work. I should be writing something that an Aranara would never say, so the Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. <laughs> oh. But what should I write? Oh, what should I write? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. There's no way Tantra could see this as the work of an Aranara. So the evidence of Aranara activity we saw during the day was actually evidence of Kali's activity. But why didn't she just tell Tantra? Oh, right. Kale told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does. And now she even writes it down. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep her secret for her. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Let's see what it says. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Uh... I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harpastum again? 
No, that, that's impossible. Wow. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. Not to me, Gil. <laughs> so, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an Aranara. No! No, I refuse to believe it! I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. No! I can't do it. Whoa, boy. I thought that if I could find an r, &R I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real r, &R right? What makes this so different? I... Uh, <sighs> Rossi, you tell them. Really? Uh, can I? Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Shay okay. Altar? Kale, Traveler, Paimon. Do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? <sighs> I didn't want to tell anyone the secret. But it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So... I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranora stories. <sighs> what? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then who was it? Oh, <gasps> he's the one. Wait, you don't mean he's the it one. Was me. Oh boy. Dad's been telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious. But Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand and... Strange, uh... Metaphors, I think they're called? But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly! It's not only Rozzy. I, too, remember every detail of what happened that day. After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. Aww. I thought it would make Rossi happy. I 
was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Rozzy. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling. Like that request from Akara Crafts. Aww. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rozzy so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, Dedicated to my dearest Rozzy. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine R&R &R to look like a secret. Wait, Paimon gets it now. To sum up, all of Uncle Tanjir's fairy tales were actually stories written by Rozzy. And because Rozzy didn't want Tanjir to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with the Kara Crafts Commission. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of r and But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always. And not even a funny one. I'm a terrible father. I'm sorry, Rassi. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Rossi's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Um, are we gonna let this happen? You want me to help a car crash with their carving? Let's go, kid. Oh, well, I did mention what the R&R &R look like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gandarvaville. Well, it's my first time being so far from home. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my R&R &R stories. So I want to visit more places in Sumeru. That way, I can help Akara Crafts create an R&R &R carving that everyone will love. Well, and I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. You... You still want me to come with you? Even after all I've done? Yeah, of course. Come on. Nice. You're the best dad ever. He's a good kid. Huh? This is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. I want to thank you, Kale. Oh no. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to help. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even kids. though I didn't have the time to find Not a tree hollow, see. telling Ali. everyone my secret Ali. made me feel so much better. <sighs> yeah. It's hard to keep too many secrets. And there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. Tell him, girl. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt. But when I look back on them, it all feels more like a new beginning. I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. Wait. Did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? Ah. Uh, um. I just... Uh, just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now. Akara Crafts is waiting for us. Let's go, Razi. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, Dad. Come on, Daddy. Razi, slow down and watch your step.
Okay. Do the scroll shows you fascinating things for exploring Sumeru. Uh, Sumeru, so why not use an exquisitely crafted camera to record them down? While using the camera, the viewfinder is subjects worth keeping a record of in view. I would keep a record of in view. Camera this way related to them. Just your photo taking distance and camera zoom. Tori is what designated photo targets. Uh, this, photo, this designated photo targets. Also, this camera can only be used in Sumeru. Oh, time limited. Okay. Oh. Can get. Oh, carvings. So, um, for the teapot, I care about this more than anything. A feeble gems. Wait up. Okay, uh, roaming the jungle. Hmm. So this is the camera things. Tapos ko na kanina. Nice na ano siya. Naka-count siya. If you the Jade Plum Terror Shop before you create new fungi. If you can activate Jade Plum Terror Shop after it rendered sound from exhaustion. Oh. Wait, where can I see you? <gasps> Dito. Oh, yun na lumabas na to. I did all up to him. Huh. Good roll. Oh, he needs a wood. That's what I want to wear in our carving. Ooh. Hey, oh, what's this? Oh. 
It's a new one. Oh, this one. It is a long ass event. Wonderful fun day of Tevat. Um. One more day off, and let's go and kill this boy two times. More, two times more. Take it easy for the fungi, huh? Game's up, from so feel the light. He creates Fungi, huh? No, he created Fungi! Order guide you! Stabilize! Assistant retreat! Quietly now. Time for a light show! I need Bennett for that. Oh, oh. You have one more. Para bukas na kasi yung 60 eh. Maaga ako nag-claim kanina. So let's go for dailies. Okay, who's is live on Twitch now? Sino yung kasama dito? Kukin Shinobu? Oh, Shinobu is dead. Oh, that makes you... Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, reporting! Oh. Dendro <laughs> and Animo, so close. Oh god, this is annoying. Stay this is really annoying. Speed of light. Hey. Yeah. Freaking water. I don't use Keqing. I don't use Keqing and Beidou here. Well, sa kahit saan account ko, hindi ko ginagamit si Keqing. And... Yeah. But not anymore. Din sa Shao na account yun, medyo dati. Nagamit ko yun. Si ano ba ito dito? 
see through. Uh, go on. I don't care if she's strong, I just don't want to use her. <laughs> I just don't like using her. I mean, not right now. Nowhere to hide. I'd probably play Genshin isang linggo sa stream and then back to our regular programming. Tapos lang natin yung mga event. One week or one month. Para may init ang 3.0. Stand clear! Dr. Inger. Oh, 4.40 na. We bought it for the sale. Oh yeah, I'm going to do it now. I'm just going to do it now. I'm just going to do it now. Cheap and tasty chop suey. Overeaten. Neo is really going to be a lot of food. Now I'm going to hear the sound of the people who are here. Ang salita ng tao. Pag nag-i-genshin kasi ako ngayon, unless na may bago. Ang mga dialogue. 
Hindi ko nilalakasan yung volume. Pag yung mga regular days lang. Abyss lang ako. Kukomisya. Uh, dailies lang ako yun. Ikot lang. Hindi nga din masyado malakas kahit nagsustory ako. Quest na una eh. Yung taong maririnig ko lang. Go with Bennett boy. Gonna be epic. Mr. Understood. Or the fast kill. Gonna be epic. Everybody stand back. Let's come into be busted. Here comes the catch. Feel the flight. Don't you dare freaking deploy your freaking minions. First forth, feel this ancient power. Quietly now. Don't you freaking deploy the minions. Annoying drops. I'll ensure your safety. Anyway, yeah. Sure. Oh. Okay, did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Hey. Now I need to discover where this Electro Regis Vine is. You know, somewhere around here. Wow, apat na teleport waypoint pala yan. XP, uh, friendship XP for Kali. Wait, kailan ko maghanap ng ano niya? Materials. Oh, mushroom. What are those mushrooms? Oh my god. I will have order. Regular. 
Oh, what the freak? Lucky the grip. My less. What's this? Small city? Oh wow Strange energy extraction device The energy extraction device The Aramite camp Seems to serve some particular purpose Let's look for a control key somewhere in the surrounding rooms to shut it down Ever, even the smallest movement might interrupt the termination sequence, so make sure to give the air free. I'll struggle until the machine shuts down. Let's do that next time. Oh, yeah, huh. Right, the shoe Oh my god, hello. Please don't. Act on. Welcome. What the? Fuck? Okay. Oh my god. on the stone pillar this unique sort of stone pillar seems to be key to sealing certain wood machines use fire to dress energy within them which will then release the machines from the shield oh my god wait yaka nakapag commission ito na yung ngayon shit Alas 4 na nga pala. Ingot. Sayo nyo 60. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Sayo nyo 60 pounds. Hey, what could do? Take it easy. Come on, that's easy. Go fight. Take it easy. No, let's go down. Very bad. Battery powder na. Ah, 
malas. Alo, ah, bisa tak sih? Alo, rampai. Nakita ko yung Nakita ko si Sino Oh my gosh The 5 star Razor I mean Razor's what? Dad? Brother? Taga din yung dating Take it easy Usually, religious fights are. Oh. That's Leo, eh? Ito nang iwis, pero may dendro okay doon. Oh, hindi na. Mr. Cor Corl Corl What he am for it?
Sayang yung 60 Primo Gems kasi F2 pa lang ako. <laughs> yeah. Never pa ako nagbayad dito. Free to play since the beginning. I will end the stream here, guys. What's going to happen? So, thank you for joining me today. Na ba trip talaga ako dun? Saing din yung ano? Points of battle pass. Walang na naman ako. Bawi ingo na lang sa iba. So yeah, easy come sa inyong lahat. Thank you for sa akin. And happy weekend sa inyong lahat. Friday na. Consider this weekend na yan. Last day. Ng weekday. So yeah. So, easy club sa inyong lahat. And thank you ulit sa pagsama sa akin. Ulit ulit ako. And bye bye. Good morning guys. Enjoy your weekends. Bye bye. Parang ikay na battle pass ngayon lang. Third. Oh well. Bye bye. That was a chance you'd be done, dear friend.